Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, coming to you with another psychic tarot reading. Now, I'm sure you've seen the title of this video. We are doing a reading on Morgan Adams. So I am not really too super familiar with what's going on in her life, uh, but that kind of makes her a really great candidate to look at uh, and see what we see. The only thing I know about her is that uh, she has a spirit that she's made videos about. Um, so let's just go ahead and see. I think if I remember correctly, she's a Leo, but I'm not 100% certain. Maybe somebody on the Twitch chat can let me know, but I'm pretty certain she's a Leo if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, let's kind of just uh, go ahead and see what we see, really. Honestly, let's just get into it. Hmm. Girl, I pulled that seven of cups. I'm just saying that's a good first pull. That's a really good first pull. Okay. So the seven of cups is like um, a card of possibilities, but in this instance, it's like dreams and fantasies. And then we see the knight of pentacles with the knight of cups. So the good thing here, okay, is that when it comes to her goals, um, she definitely has a lot of different things that she wants to do. In fact, she probably feels scattered and she doesn't know which direction to go in. Girl, pick them all. Um, when I pull things like this, it means she can actually dip her feet into everything into every pond, like she's allowed to put herself in multiple places. Um, she might have some people that are like, I don't understand you, I don't know where to put you, I don't know where to place you. That's actually a strength. Um, her adaptability is her biggest strength here, so she just needs to understand that. She shouldn't be too hyper-focused on one thing. She actually should be scattered. It's pretty much kind of her strength. Um, I even pulled the Knight of Cups here, which means that she's in a period of like growing up. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of like, there should be some like kind of, I mean, some people will be like, oh my God, it's childish, but she needs to kind of just experience. Knight of Pentacles is like consistency and growth. And then we see the Knight of Cups, which is like emotional growth. And so this is basically just maturity and kind of like, you know, in general growing up. Um, so I don't really particularly think that that's like that big of a deal so you may see some stuff that like might you might feel like oh my god really but she's a young soul and i don't know if anybody realizes that so a lot of times especially if you're dealing with someone who's dealing with like you know ghosts or any sort of spirit activity a lot of times people think that means you're an old soul but she appears to be more of a younger soul who kind of needs to stumble into things this is like naive energy that kind of just needs to like walk into things haphazardly and experience things on their own i'm pretty certain that's a big life purpose for her is to kind of just figure stuff out and just dive deep and, and learn stuff I, I don't particularly think that she's that old of a soul um i think that she's more of a younger one kind of just stumbling into things um uh, that being said when I pull the seven of cups, when it comes to love for her, um, she definitely, I'm going to be honest with you, she, it's easy to sell her a fairy tale. It's very easy for people to sell her something that isn't reality. She definitely wants to believe things. So it's just, it's not that she's gullible as much as it's like, if I fluff this up, she believes in me and she believes I can become that. So she's able to even convince herself. Uh, and that's a big problem for love for her because I see the Knight of Cups, which is someone who's not as big as they, they say they are in the Knight of Pentacles, who's again, those two together are a little bit dangerous in love because it's like, I can be this, but am I going to? That's like, you know, the, the, the issue of potential. Um, now, the last thing I'll say about this is if I pull a Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups, there should be two people vying for her attention. Sometimes that means one of them is a water sign and one of them is an earth sign. Other times it just means that one of them is a little bit more wishy-washy and the other one is very consistent. There should be two at the same time though. These two are competing. These two are competing for her attention or vying for her uh, affection. Um, both of them have the same trait of the Seven of Cups though. The Seven of Cups has to be like fantasy uh it has to be some sort of fantasy it has to be some sort of like you know selling you this amazing thing like they both have to have that same trait though where they're kind of like not really what they say they are it's very it's not fake it till you make it as much as it's like how do i put this kind of you know 
a smoke and mirror in terms of like how big things are, how great they are. Um, I don't think any of those are gonna go into full-blown um, relationship because the two of cops is reversed. Uh, and I also think that she wants something different than anyone in her life has. Um, the four of pentacles is like a selfish, greedy card and the four of swords is like a rejection or a healing of wounds. So for her, um, she attracts very selfish people, very selfish people. And I do think that she needs to be careful about being overtly generous because whenever I pull cards like that, it means that there are people that, I, I don't know if they're around her now, but there are people that are around her or are going to be around her. I can't particularly tell. I knew it. The first card I pull when I'm looking for clarification is the money card, the Ace of Pentacles. There are people around her that are kind of looking for her to do things for them, whether it be money, status, there's a lot of that. Um, and that's going to get worse because unfortunately she's just a little bit too generous. Again, I told you, she's just a young soul. So she's gonna kind of have to experience some of these things on her own. Um, I will tell you this, she, I mean, I don't know the relationship, uh, obviously, between her and her, her, and her and Ryland or anyone, but she needs to be, she needs to learn the hard way. Okay, and I know that's probably really hard for anyone in her life to hear, but she's one of those people that just has to learn the hard way. Like, you can't protect her from everything. And that's a big lesson that she needs to learn and other people need to learn is like, you just got to learn it. You just got to do it. You got to fall to pick yourself back up. That's the hardest lesson because it seems like it seems like everyone is very protective over her. Very, very protective. Like, even her friends are very protective over her because they know that she has this like starry eyed quality with this card. And so she kind of just needs to learn the hard way. Like, I wish I could be like, prevent this, prevent that. But that four of swords tells me she's going to have to feel some of the pain of, you know, her generosity because she needs to learn to say no. I don't really know if she knows how to say no, which is really frustrating for me. She needs to learn boundaries and she's learned to say no. Um, I don't think she wants to disappoint people. I think for her, she really wants people to be happy. Um, and I think she feels responsible for other people's happiness, which is not good. Um, now with the two of cups, again, like I said before, she's not looking for the type of relationship that other people have. She may look at other people's relationships as inspiration and she may say things every once in a while to people like, oh my God, I want that. But that's not actually what she wants. She's looking for a relationship that is very, very, very much a little bit more, how do I say this? The Knight of Wands is like, the Knight of Wands is like a chase. It's like a, a game, but it's not like the player game. It's like, it's always exciting. And the Seven of Wands is the underdog, which is like someone proving themselves. She needs a relationship that's like a constant energetic boom. For her, she needs someone that's like constantly on the go, like that's constantly on her toes, like constantly doing things. Like she may get stuck in relationships that are serious or want to be serious or that want to anchor her or tie her down, but that's not what she's going to do well with. I really don't think that's what she's going to do well with. And I think she's surrounded by a lot of couples that are like anchor, anchor, like come together, anchor. And I think that's kind of one of the reasons why she's feeling frustrated is because she's looking at relationships that other people have that are a little different than what she's looking for. She needs a little bit more independence. She needs a little bit more freedom. She needs a little bit more of an open energy. That doesn't mean open relationship. What that means is like, you know, you're doing this for a while and I'm doing that. In fact, I honestly think that she probably needs someone who's pretty freaking busy uh, or potentially I mean, she potential long distance because she needs someone that misses her and that she misses and that they don't spend all that time, all that much time together. Uh, I know that's probably frustrating to hear and wild to hear, but that's what I see because the Eight of Cups like walking away. It's like, I need time on my own doing whatever the hell I want to do. And the Knight of Swords is up by it with the Six of Pentacles, which says when, when there's a constant need to like take care of someone or pick someone up or protect someone or for her to be taken care of or protected. Like there's so much protective savior complex energy on both ends, her to other people and people to her, that the distance or the separation, the line, if there's a forced boundary, it'll be easier for her. Because the Six of Pentacles is reversed, which again is problems with and issues with accountability, responsibility, dependence, things like that. Like it's super, 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 super important for her to have individuality and separation. Um, she definitely needs to be careful. I do not think that she would do well dating someone who also does what she does. 
She needs someone almost polar opposite who is not into certain things. Like she needs someone who's not into the spotlight. She needs someone who's like a businessman or has something, whatever she's into. She's not going to do well with someone who does what she does. She can try um, and it may be enjoyable for a while, but in the long in the long run, that's just not going to work for her. She, it's just not going to work for her. Um, in fact, I actually think that I knew it. <laughs> it's like I'm psychic or something. I actually don't think that entertainment is going to be her thing forever. The death card is a change that she will enact. And the three of wands says she's going to meet someone pretty soon. Um, who is going to inspire her to want to do something different. Um, I think this is more business herself um, rather than like entertainment because the devil card here is about um, like frustration, paranoia, fear, uh, and even like a little bit of a sour taste with like, you know, people's opinions and things like that. And I think for her, a lot of the frustration in her life is coming from some of the, you know, entertainment quality youtuber stuff like stuff like that um because the eight of wands is about slowly pulling back and a slow change and the queen of cups is reverse she's like i'm not really emotionally filled here fulfilled here anymore i'm kind of like okay i came i saw i conquered i want to do something else remember how i said she has her hand in a lot of different things and she needs to consistently do that um the four of cups again bored forced to detach from this the hermit i want to do something i've never done before when it's reversed and the nine of wands i'm walking on eggshells because i'm scared i do see her getting more into like a business type thing i'm seeing the lover's card here which is about her working directly with another person i see expectations higher and being able to be met in money exchange and i'm seeing the five of cups which says that she's going to disappoint a few different people because it's a change in direction the emperor is about taking more of a controlling stance in terms of her life and a decisive decision i see her really going more of like a business route rather than just constantly being in the spotlight. Um, again, I don't think it's that she completely hates the spotlight, but I think for her, she does better when she's, how do I put this? She does better when she has a community to support a thing rather than she has a community to support her. Um, the Ten of Cups would be a family card, a happily ever after card, and also like a community card. And then we see the Five of Swords, which is like petty issues, and then the Nine of Swords, which is stress and anxiety. So again, when she doesn't have that tangible thing, she doesn't feel worthy. Um, I honestly think she has imposter syndrome, where part of her feels like she's not earning everything that she feels she should be earning uh, because, or that she's capable of. It's almost like she's stopping herself from hitting the top. Um, okay, let's continue. <clears throat> well, um, the chariot is upright, which is great for progress. Unfortunately, the hierophant's reversed with the queen of swords. So <sighs> I knew it. There's a star card reverse and the ten of pentacles. So the star card is a little bit of an issue for me because that's like off path or like, you know, a negative attention. The queen of swords is reversed with the ten of pentacles reverse. So if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am a little bit concerned about this because remember how I said that there are certain people that she's going to have to learn how to trust? The Queen of Swords is about something she's either said or done, and the Ace of Cups would be someone she's close to or was close to, and the Ten of Pentacles is a verse, which means that they're a long-term problem and, again, tied with the things that they've done. I do see a split coming with someone. Again, I saw this in the beginning of the reading. I do see a split coming, and it is not going to be pretty. Uh, the Page of Swords would be an opportunistic person with an opportunity. So she just needs to be a little bit careful because um, the Temperance card is impatience and balance, which means that she may get threatened by this person. Uh, there it is, the Vulnerability card, the King of Wands, Misguided Aggression, the Seven of Pentacles. They've had this for a while, and the Magician card, it's not good because it's like either a text or an email that's manipulated. Again, I see this pretty pretty often, you know, we see this pretty often in terms of content creation, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's not that scandalous, to be honest with you, but it is a, a little bit of, because the Queen of Swords is like a bold, confident, beautiful, you know, sexy, strong individual, and the Three of Pentacles is like your job, and then the Moon is reversed, which is like exposing a secret about your job. So there definitely seems to be some sort of exposure. Um, I... I think it's a female for the Queen of Wands. 
you know, beautiful, bold, confident individuals. Sometimes fire sign, but not always. You just have to be really feisty or passionate. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah, dude. Because the King of Cups is reversed, the Page of Wands is reversed, and the Eight of Pentacles, which... Oh my God, wait a minute. The King of Cups is Shane. The King of Cups is Shane, because he's a Cancer. The Page of Wands verse and the Eight of Pentacles here. So, interesting. Wait a minute. Oh my God, there it is. There's the environment. That would be like the, the, the house, the connection she shares with everyone in the Nine of Pentacles. This person... I mean, I'm sure you guys can figure it out from this card. This person is going to try to pull in Shane to this. Won't be successful, though, at all, by the way. Like, complete, utter flop failure. Not going to work. But they are going to try to pull Shane into this. It won't work, so Shane doesn't have to worry about it. But they are going to try. The Page of Wands is like saying one thing and doing another. So it's like, oh, I would never, and then going ahead and doing it. But um, it won't work. The Eight of Pentacles is upright. Uh, and the nine of pentacles so it'll just be a single person it won't be it won't be anything um but they're gonna try this person is gonna try they're gonna try to say something about shame which is like no girl it's not gonna work it's, it's not gonna work all you can try but you're gonna fail miserably so good luck boo ain't happening <clears throat> all right i'm actually surprised i didn't pull that much about ryland i think ryland was probably in the beginning of the reading about someone being protective over her to be honest all right, let's pull from this deck. Well, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if we get more information with the, the third deck. She definitely feels misunderstood. Welcome to the club, girl. The temple of my body is vulnerability. Then the alone in the world card is her feeling like nobody understands her. And then the obsession card here. Wait a minute. Oh, obsession and revenge. There has to be someone around her. Girl, you guys are gonna get whatever. Don't shoot the messenger, girl. I'm just saying this. Just be she just needs just uh, she just needs to be careful. Oh, she just needs to be careful. Can I be honest, you guys? Like, she needs to be careful of like leaving her phone in place. I don't want to make her paranoid. Girl, if you watch this, don't be paranoid. Just be smart. Because um, it's not that bad. But just be careful of, like, emails and, like, computers and, like, your phone and stuff like that. Just just be a little bit conscious. That's all. It's not that big of a deal, but I do see somebody, like, trying, girl. She definitely needs to be careful about getting hacked. She needs to be careful about getting hacked. I'm serious. She needs to be careful about getting hacked. Like, I'm dead ass serious. I'm, I'm dead serious about that. So she just needs to up security on her stuff. <clears throat> like, I'm just going to leave it at that. The Venus card is love and beauty, but it's also money. And the Capricorn card is like a daddy. Then I see the Mercury card, which is communication, the Aquarius card, which is like a detachment. She needs to be very careful because there is a very successful person who is going to try to woo her. She needs to be careful, very careful of this person because they have some weird tendencies, some really weird tendencies, really weird, <laughs> really weird. I don't know how, I don't know if, because <clears throat> remember how I said I saw two in the beginning? I think this is a third, because these two should be flops real quick. They should be flop, flop, but then this one here is, hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is like this is like Mr. Mystery. But like mm. I don't know, man. I'm just a little bit worried about this one and she needs to be a little bit careful about this one. I didn't really get that much information about um business though. It's pretty short and simple, huh? I just I don't there's just someone here. It's like I don't want to say it's a proposition, but it's like some it's like a weird it's like a weird power play. It's a man who gives a weird power play. I don't I don't know what that is. I don't know how else to explain that. <sighs> Let me see if I can figure out who this is. I don't Girl, you better not chase nobody. Holy crap. Focus, sacrifice, and guidance. This is like wanting to take someone under their wing. Girl, you better be careful of them. You better be careful of this. I'm gonna, oh my God, it's a sugar daddy. No, I... Uh, she's successful. She doesn't need that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't, that's weird. I don't know. This energy bugs me out. For some reason, it's weird and largely, like, creepy. This is a creep. This creeps me out. I, she's, the thing is, I don't know how interested she'll be with him. I think he's enamored with her. That's the thing. I don't know. That one's weird. We're just going to move on from that one. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um... I'm trying to think if there's any other aspect that we didn't get that we can maybe look at. We could pull really quick. You know what? You know what I'll do? I'll pull really quick to see if I can see. Oops. I'll pull really quick to see if I can see if like, um, if there's any like, um, whatchamacallit. Um, any information on like the psychic stuff or like ghost stuff that's going on with her? I'm gonna pull specifically with that intention. So I have this a long reading. Where's the rest of the deck, girl? <laughs> okay. See if I can get any more info about Any of the paranormal stuff that's going on. I'm surprised it didn't show up in the reading. I mean, you saw me shuffle this deck. It's the same information about the person betraying her. And there's the King of Cups. Trying to go public about the info, about info trying to go after Shane. A breach of trust. Literally, it's the same thing. This is the Queen of Wands putting effort in trying to expose or use some sort of piece of information or tea. This is tea, like receipts, like actual receipts, like something tangible. Um, and uh, going after her, they're going to try and go after Shane with something, trying to like embarrass, but it's just a breach of trust and not going to work. Yeah. Let's keep getting the same information. Let's see if we can get other information about the paranormal stuff. It's a fucking, oh. it's a big warning. She just needs to be careful who she trusts. That's all I'm getting. I didn't get any information about the paranormal stuff. I'm sorry. I didn't get any information about the paranormal stuff. I can't. I'm just seeing her needing to be very careful who she trusts. Super careful who she trusts. 
I mean, they're going to fail miserably, you guys. They're going to fa fail miserably, but it's really annoying to have to deal with this. So, I don't know. That's all I see. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Sorry if it was a little bit all over the place, but I did my best. Uh, hopefully, if Morgan sees it, she likes it. Um, and hopefully you guys know my intentions are pure and I'm just here to help and relay information. So I love you guys. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to me, hit the bell button to know when I go live or not go live. Well, upload a video, whatever, for notifications. Make sure you follow me Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, Amphrodite. Um, go to Amphrodite.com for private readings. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much it. Let me know if there are any other celebrities you want me to do in the comments below. Um, and sound off. Let me know what you thought of this reading. Uh, I would love to know. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.